Welcome back to my channel guys in this video I'm going to discuss with you my reviews and how I apply the new best skin ever concealer and foundation from Sephora. Now Sephora has some really good products and some of them are actually hidden gems so I'm going to leave a few of my favorites in the description bar so don't forget to check it out. So this is how the best skin ever longwear foundation looks like. It comes with a pump which is also very good but I just wish it came in a bottle where you could just take the wand off and apply it on the face. I will also share more reviews about this foundation while I'm doing the application and after that so please don't forget to stay till the end. Moving on to my concealers, I purchased two concealers then this is the new Sephora Clear and Coverage Blemish Concealer. I purchased two shades, one is in 30 and one is 27. Now 27 was a little bright for me and hence I got the shade 30 which is a little dark and I thought I could use this as a corrector as the name suggests but please please find out my reviews on this while I am doing my application using these two concealers. You know how much I love to conceal my under eyes and I like to have that flawless looking under eye even though I don't apply a foundation on some days and therefore I got the best skin ever high coverage concealer. The packaging of this product is a little bit more better than the clear and cover concealer so I really really like it. It really does feel very luxurious and I like the fact that the wand of this product is big and pointy and it can reach the corners of your under eyes perfectly again my reviews on this product is going to be while I'm doing the application and after that so please don't leave this video yet before we get into the application of these products please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can also press the bell icon where you can get notified every time I upload a video and now let me show you how I applied these products now as you can see I've already done my eyes off camera and I've also applied a primer from Maybelline that is the Fit Me Poreless Primer. Now to cover my dark circles and the other pigmented areas on my face I'm going to use the darker shade of the concealer that I got from Sephora and this is the shade 30. I'm going to apply it under my eyes and other areas where I feel they are a little pigmented and I'm going to blend it with a damp beauty blender. I don't think that the concealer is full coverage and extremely pigmented so I'm going to probably regret not using a corrector for this look. Now my fingers are crossed just to find out if I had purchased the right shade of foundation because on the website the shades were not very clear. So on my right side I'm going to apply the foundation with a brush and also blend it out with a brush and on my left side I'm going to apply it with a blender. I've taken three pumps of the foundation on the back of my hand and now I'm applying it with the brush. So the foundation that I got looks a little pink undertone and I'm not a pink undertone guys. I'm a neutral undertone and I'm really not very happy with the shade that I had purchased. This foundation is definitely medium to full coverage and I am pretty happy with the coverage. I really really like the uh, feel and the formulation of it because it does not feel very heavy on the skin. Then I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender because we need to set the foundation and whatever excess I have applied on my face, the beauty blender will just pick it up. Once I've blended it with a beauty blender, I can see it's become more sheer. I can see my spots over here. And if you will notice, that my dark circles are also visible. Now for this side, I'm going to apply dots all over my face and then I will blend it out straight away with the beauty blender. I've taken two pumps of the foundation on the back of my hand and I'm applying dots on this side of the face. So I don't see a difference between the application with a brush or a beauty blender. However, I would recommend using a beauty blender because it's just going to be a little faster. Now, I also feel that this foundation oxidizes as it has matched my skin tone, nearly matched my skin tone, let me be very honest. And this is the shade that, you know, when I applied it on the back of my hand, this is how it looked. 
Next, I'm gonna try the Best Skin Ever High Coverage Concealer and I'm gonna apply it under my eyes, a little bit on my chin, the bridge of my nose and the centers of my forehead. I'm now blending it with a damp beauty blender and it blends like a dream. I really really like the formula and the coverage of this. However, I feel I want to cover a little bit more under the right eye. So I'm going to just apply a little bit in the innermost corners of my eye and then again blend it out. Now I also got the color and sculpt stick because, uh, you know, I was... <gasps> Oops, look what happened. So I got the color and sculpt stick from Sephora and I was really excited to try this because I don't have, um, you know, contouring stick, like a nice one. I do actually, but I really wanted to try the one from Sephora and I broke it. Okay, no, I fixed it. Currently, I have chubby cheeks post COVID medication. So I'm going to just contour my cheeks a little bit more like I always used to do. So I'm going to start from the hairline and go all the way to the apples of my cheeks. Ooh, this is pigmented. I hope this blends beautifully and this is going to be my new favorite from Sephora. So I love the shade that I purchased. This is the shade medium and I love the fact that it's giving me a beautiful warmth and not looking muddy on my face. Really liking the color and sculpt stick because it's blending like a dream and I'm definitely going to use this more. I think it's important to try out the cream products on your foundation because you will find out that if your cream products are removing the foundation then it's really not a good foundation. So I'm going to try a liquid blush. As I applied the liquid blush I did notice that there was no movement of the foundation beneath it which is a very good point however I have seen that my concealer has just been worn off and I can definitely see my dark circles and I definitely regret not applying a corrector next I'm going to use the Sephora mineral foundation compact because I got this as well as I was doing the foundation and concealer review I wanted to get my hands on the pressed powder which is the foundation compact apparently as the name suggests it looks a little bit off full coverage however it says natural finish so let's just find out I'm going to use the same puff that it comes with and I'm going to take the um, textured side and I'm going to swirl it on the product and just you know tapping off the excess I'm just going to start pressing my under eyes It does look like it has a little bit extra coverage like the other. So I'm assuming it might be a dupe for the L'Oreal Infallible Compact Powder as well. Let me just swatch that and, uh, you know, I will do a review for you guys if it actually is a dupe or not. So this is my look after I've used most of the Sephora products. And now I'm going to finish the rest of my face and come back with my final look. And this is my final look guys. I did not have any problems in applying the eyeshadows in the lower lash line. However, as I told you before, I did notice that the concealers are wearing off. So I'm not a big fan of the concealers. I've also noticed that I'm getting a little creasing around my mouth area, which is just these two corners. And that's about it. I would not recommend this foundation if you have an oily skin because I think it would start creasing and give you those unwanted creases on your face which obviously no one wants. If you have already purchased this, I recommend you set your base perfectly and apply a good mattifying primer along with a good mattifying powder on top of it. So after doing a research on the swatches and the shades of the foundation, I purchased the shade 26N where N stands for neutral and I'm very disappointed because this shade is definitely not 
neutral undertone it's definitely pink undertone which i don't like so i'm not very sure of the shades that they are showing on the website i definitely recommend going to the store and then purchasing your shade of foundation now coming to the concealers the clear and cover concealer are definitely not full coverage or even medium coverage it says that they are blemish concealers but i don't think they can cover any blemishes either even if it's an acne mark acne marks definitely not but even if there is a little bit redness on the face i'm not very sure if these concealers work at all now i will have to find out other ways to use this concealer and i will leave the details of that in the description bar if and at all i can find out the ways to use these two concealers on the other hand the best skin ever high coverage concealers are extremely pigmented and full coverage however there was a little bit of a problem with these concealers i noticed that they started wearing off as i was applying the rest of my face and you know doing the rest of my makeup and i also noticed that when you blend your concealer especially this one a little bit too much then it just comes out and that's not what i like and that's not something that usually happens with full coverage concealers the foundation says that it's long wear but i highly doubt it if you're in a heated room then i definitely don't recommend you wearing this foundation because as you know i'm filming and you know i have these lights around me i can definitely see that there are some creases happening under my eyes and i am feeling that the oil is shining beneath my skin and you know i'm really not liking the effect even though i applied a mattifying powder from the same brand i'm not sure um if this foundation is going to be long wear because i think this is releasing the oils from this foundation so this is it guys this is how i feel about the new sephora best skin ever collection i am a big fan of sephora products guys but i'm not very sure about the best skin ever collection if you want to know how i created this eye look please don't forget to check out my instagram handle which is going to be over here i post smaller stories and fun content and more of eye looks on my instagram handle so please don't forget to check it out and please 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 follow me and with that i'm going to end this video but please stay home and stay safe keep cleaning your hands because it's extremely important nowadays and i will see you very soon in my next video but before that if you have any recommendations on a particular product that you want me to review please do let me know in the comment section down below so i will take a leave now and thank you so much for watching